Do you want to teach live classes online? You can do it professionally with Tutor LMS and Zoom. You just need a WordPress site, Zoom, and Tutor LMS Pro. In this video, we will show you the step by step process to conduct a live online class. First, you need to install and activate Tutor LMS Pro on your WordPress site. You can get Tutor LMS from the link in this video's description with other relevant resources. Once your Tutor LMS Pro powered WordPress site is up and running, Let's start the main procedure. Okay, so this is our LMS website. As you can see, we are using the Tutor Starter theme. So we have some courses. Let's take a look at these courses. So these are some courses that we have. Of course, these are all dummy courses. So let's say we want to create a live online class for this course. Okay, so let's click on it. You can see this course has some uh, topics within it. So let's say I want to create a live online class for this course. Okay. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard now. Okay. So we are here in our WordPress dashboard. So the first thing that we need to do is enable our Zoom add-on. So to create online live classes with Zoom, you need to have Tutor LMS Pro because the Zoom add-on is only available in the Pro version of Tutor LMS, okay? So I'm going to enable my Zoom add-on. So I'm going to click on add-ons over here. And then I'm going to scroll down and here's the Zoom integration. So I'm simply going to enable this. And now you can see that it's not over here, but if we refresh our page, you can see that the zoom has been added over here. So if we click on zoom, you can see that we don't have any meetings right now. So if you're running zoom for the first time, you might see this page first. Okay. So this is the first page that you are going to see. So in order to create a zoom meeting, you need to first uh, set up your zoom integration for that. You need your account ID, client ID and client secret ID. So we are going to create an app in our Zoom account. If you already don't have a Zoom account, you can create one from their website. Zoom offers both free and paid plans. Get the plan whichever fits your requirements. After creating the account, sign in to the Zoom website. Okay, so we have signed into our Zoom account. This is our Zoom uh, dashboard. So the first thing that we need to do is go to the marketplace. Okay. So let's scroll down over here and here in the advanced section, just unfold this and you can see the marketplace over here. Okay. So this is the zoom marketplace. You can see there are several apps over here, but what we need is something else. So from this drop down over here, simply select build app and you will be brought to this page where you're, where you have to choose an app type previously we used the jwt to create online live classes but you can see there's a notification over here that says zoom has deprecated jwt apps on june 1st 2023 the end of life for jwt apps will be september 1st 2023 so if you guys are using JWT, you need to transfer to another app type because um, the jwt support will be stopped the app type that we are going to select is known as the server to server OAuth. Okay. So we are going to use this. So from here, simply click on the create button and you will be asked to um, name your app. Okay. So we are going to put a name of our app over here. So we're calling our app tutor online live classes. Okay. So I'm going to click on the create button and wait for a few seconds while the app creates. Okay, so our app has been created. Now we have to go through a few steps, which is the app credentials, information, features, scopes, activations, etc. Okay, so um, from here, you can see your app credentials are over here. We are going to come back to this later on. Okay, do not copy these and paste it on your um, tutorial MS Zoom integration right now. We have to first set it up. Okay, so click on this continue button. And here you have to put in some basic information. So here's the name of the app. You can change it from here if you like. You can add a short description if you want. And you can add the name of your company. So let me add a name. Okay, so I added a name and my email address. Now let's click on the continue button. And from here over the features, we don't have to do much. But here's the secret token and the verification token. And then let's click on the continue button. 
Okay, so from the scopes, we have to select some scopes. Okay, so just simply click on the uh, add scopes button. You can add any scopes that uh, you require for your uh, tutorial MS integrations. So from the meeting, we're going to select all of these scopes over here. From webinar, we're going to select all these uh, scopes from recording and from users. So in total, there will be 24 scopes. Now you can select any of these scopes that you need, but according to Themium's documentation, these 24 are recommended. So we're adding these. So we're going to add it right now. Okay, so our scopes are added. Now let's click on the continue button and our app is ready for activation. So let's click on the activate your app button. Now you can see, congratulations, your app is now activated on the account. So our app is now activated, okay? So if you want, you can simply click on this manage button over here and you can see that this is your app and it's activated. So now what we have to do is copy and paste our credentials on our tutor zoom integration. Okay. So let's select this. And now we are going to go to the app credentials and copy all these credentials and paste it on our zoom integration. So let's copy it. And now paste our account ID and I'm going to just skip ahead and paste in all these information and I'll get back to you when all these are done. Okay, so I have put in all my credentials. Now I'm going to click on this save and check connection button. Now if everything is okay, you're going to see this success message. You can now add live classes to any course. Okay, so everything is working perfectly. Now in order to add a live class, Let's go to our courses tab. And here, this is the course where we wanted to add a live class. So let's click on this uh, view course button. Okay, so we're going to click on this edit course. Okay, so this is our course. So let's scroll down. And you can see that we have a few topics over here. Okay, so let's say we want to create an online live class for this topic. So let's uh, unfold this. And here you can see beside lessons and quiz, uh, there's another option that says zoom live lesson. Okay, so we're going to click on this button. And it's going to open up this interface where you can set up your zoom meeting. So first, let's uh, name our meeting. Okay, after that, you can add a meeting summary if you want. And from here, there's the meeting time. You can simply uh, click on this and a calendar will show up and you can select whenever your meeting is going to be held. So let's say I want to se select uh, 10, August 10, 2023. And the meeting duration, let's say it will be 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. And then the time you can set any time. So let's say I'm going to select 01. So now I'm going to click on done. And you can also set the time zone and recording if you want and you also have to create a password and you can see the meeting host it's um, the user that has created the meeting so that's me a zoom meeting password is a code that you need to enter to join a zoom meeting that has this security feature enabled so we have these zoom passwords which adds a level of security and protection for a specific meeting or a set of recurring meetings okay so i'm going to create an easy password Okay, now let's create this meeting. Okay, meeting updated. So our meeting has been created. Now let's go to Zoom over here. Okay, so from here you can see this is our meeting, introductory live class. If you guys are wondering how the date changed, I actually edited it. From here you can simply click on this edit button and you can edit your uh, Zoom meeting. So anyway, um, if you want to launch your live class, you can simply click on this start meeting button and it's going to take you to your Zoom application over here. So from here, you can see there's a button called launch meeting. And down here, it's also saying don't have Zoom client installed, download now. So if you have Zoom client installed on your desktop or laptop, it's going to launch this application. All right. But you can also launch Zoom on the browser. In order to do that, simply click on this launch meeting and you can see that Zoom already detected that you are having a problem with your Zoom client. So it's saying having issues with Zoom client, join from your browser. So I'm going to click here. It's going to open up the Zoom meeting on my browser. Okay, excellent. 
So now I'm going to close this. All right, so we're back here. You can also uh, launch the meeting from your front end. So to do that, we're going to hover our mouse over here and we're going to click on visit site. And from here, we are going to click on courses list and we're going to scroll down and click on this course. And we already have enrolled into this course and we're going to scroll down and here's our Zoom live class. So we are going to click on this link and you can see that uh, 12 hours and 47 minutes are still left till the meeting starts. But as we are the host, we can start this meeting right away. So if we have the Zoom app installed, that means the Zoom client, we can start our meeting clicking on this link or we can simply start the meeting from over here. So it's going to do the exact same thing. So if we click on the meeting over here, it's going to take us to the same page. All right. So let's see what happens if we have the Zoom client installed. So I'm going to click on download now and install the Zoom app. Okay, so we have installed the Zoom client. Now let's click on the launch meeting button and you can see our browser is giving an alert message saying this site is trying to open Zoom meetings. Okay, so we are going to click on open and it's going to launch our uh, Zoom client. Okay, so our desktop app has opened up and it's uh, asking us if we want to join with computer audio. So that is how you can use the Zoom client to conduct your live online classes. So let's close this up and let's see how students can join live classes, okay? Okay, so we have logged in as a student, okay? So now if we hover our mouse over our profile icon over here and we can click on enrolled courses, so we have already enrolled in this course, so I'm going to click on it. And now if as a student, I want to um, take the live online class. So we're going to click on this. And here we're going to see the same thing. It's 12 hours uh, till the class starts. Now one thing you can see, uh, the start meeting option is gone. Since we are not the instructor, we are a student, uh, we cannot um, start the meeting. We don't have the privilege. We have two options, join in browser and join in the Zoom app. So let's see how we can join in the live class using the browser. Okay, so we have joined the live class um, using our browser. Now, if we click in the join in Zoom app, since we already have the Zoom client installed on our desktop, we are going to click on this and it's going to open up our Zoom client. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's taking us to the same page. We're going to click on open. And it's launching our Zoom uh, client. And there you go. We are now in the live class. So that is how students can attend live online classes. So that is how you can teach online live classes with Tutor LMS. We hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, give it a like, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. Thank you.